Alright guys, welcome to a Premier League Clubs tier list, 1920 with me, Laughing Hippos, and also joining me is Harry Peekers. Hello. I'm uh, excited. Just for be something different, a bit of a, a little fun thing for the uh, channel. A little bit fun, a little bit controversial. Yeah. Because I already know where I'm putting some good teams. <laughs> if we, if you do enjoy this, uh, we'll probably do one, a couple on stream as well. Yeah, give us some enjoy ideas. It. Lives like like and a comment and we'll do it on stream because we know we want to do some but there's like a few you know maybe within his mls series we could do a, a mls teams one maybe oh, at the end of the season yeah. after you've learned who you like and who you don't like oh yeah be a good one to do oh that'd be interesting right. so right. i guess we should do it in the order of what it's placed here yep first so brighton first brighton oh god i don't, I don't know they, man they, they got a nice stadium the team's not Bad. I like the manager. Play, plays football the right way. But the club's just tiny. Yeah. See their stadium. I, I quite like their stadium as well. Hmm. Like they're not. I, I, I wouldn't put them in the bottom one. No, I think small clubs fair for Brighton. Yeah. So which so uh, which colour's small for you then? Uh, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> I hate Crystal Palace. <laughs> I hate Crystal Palace so much. And me, I'm so, still salty over what happened last year. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but, sorry. Oh, no, yeah, no, they're going bottom. <laughs> sorry, Palace, you're going there just for that reason. Yeah, I'm I mean, not I know it wasn't your one. fault. I know it wasn't it completely your fault. It was a referee, but still, I'm still salty over it. We'll I just be out the relegation like zone. <laughs> that is true, actually. But even without that, I still don't think you know. I'm not a big fan. True, true. Oh, okay. So, the next one. Southampton. I quite like Southampton. Same here. The stadium's like um, sort of carbon copy, a bit smaller than the Empire, sort of carbon copy, those sort of stadiums, Liberty, etc. as well. So it's a bit bit boring, but they've got. I think they've got a great academy. I going to say, they bring club. a lot of good players in. And... And they've been a bit hit by selling players all throughout the years now in their Premier League, since they've returned to the Premier League, buying, selling, buying, selling. Almost messed them up this season, but they've hit that magic 40, so they're staying yeah. up. But are they a medium club? Are they Have they won enough and have got, have they got a big enough fan base to go to the medium I'll club? I put them in medium. Medium? Yeah. I think they sort of nailed it now. Because they're academy, really. Yeah, well. they've brought through so many good players. I think they can, they probably will continue to as well. I'm a big fan of them. It's hard to disagree. I mean, they've got a great, great youth player in their midfield and captain now, James Ward-Prowse, isn't it? I think he's a great player. <laughs> I, I just love how I used to sign him on FIFA like years ago because <laughs> he was the, like, the, the really good youngster. Yeah. And now it's actually like the prophecy is like starting to fill, <laughs> starting to come true now. <sighs> the FIFA career mode prophecy. Literally. So... <laughs> Um, we've got what have we got? We've got elite, big, medium, small. What did you put as the bottom one? Championship club. Oh yeah, championship <laughs> tier. All right, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, so next one is Liverpool. <laughs> okay, now I know where I want to put these. <laughs> I would put them honestly in championship tier. I hate them, but obviously they're had a, a good season. Club. They're a really good two seasons actually. They're, they're a huge like, club. Even without winning for 30 years, they've won, I think, it's six European uh, Cups, Champions Leagues. Yeah, they're, they're sort they're, of... They're the second most successful or joint most successful club in England. It's crazy. For so long, they were, like, in the top four. They were, like, that fourth team, I guess. Like, yeah. no one... You know, Arsenal and Chelsea were big, obviously, United. And now City is in there. I honestly think... I mean, Chelsea and Arsenal, I wouldn't even consider them a top four club anymore. But Liverpool are, like... Especially now, they're like the number one team. Yeah. So oh, they've got to go elite, but yeah, because they're a massive. If this was my video, they would be in the uh, championship tier. <laughs> yeah, th th they're a worldwide name as well. That's the problem with it. I they know, yeah. A worldwide name, but they kind of deserve it as well. True. Like the team they've got at the minute is so, <laughs> so, it's, it's, so, so oh, good. It, it's it's insane. And like, it's not. They haven't like like Henderson is part of that squad. Henderson is somebody who four years ago I despised. I thought was one of the worst players in the league. I think everyone did, to be fair, even two years ago. Literally, and now he's actually he's actually kind of likable now. It's it's crazy. <laughs> right. 
I already have Man an idea City. where I'm gonna put this next club. I really do. They're not. They. I don't think last, they're elite. It's the last ten years. They saw last ten to twelve years. They sort of started pushing for major honors, etc. Yeah, but, but to be an elite club, you have to have at least one Champions League, in my opinion. Ooh. Yeah. I'll give but you are that. they a I big mean, club? Yes, they've won a few Premier League titles, but, but took them God knows how many again. years to win another first division title after they won it back in Victorian England. Think they have, but they've I got think because of the whole trophy things. Mm. They, they don't have that sort of super loyal fan base yet. Yeah, I think with generations to come, they will. Because yeah. Man City fans now and their kids, but yeah. like they couldn't sell out their 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 Wembley allocation. Nope. They gave some to the Villa. They gave some to us. Yeah. Which is why I don't want to put them big, but they are competing at the big They are, they are competing the for big the tables. biggest. Yeah, they compete for the biggest trophies in the, in club football. I think we put them in big. I don't I want to. I don't put them in medium, but... No, I think let's go medium uh, then. If I'm debating it, medium. They're a medium they're, club. Yeah. If they can't they, sell their Wembley allocation, they're not a big club. No. Considering They'll get there, I think. could sell theirs. I mean... Give it another, I think, 10, maybe 15, they'll be considered as one of the elite clubs. Yeah, once by more people and not, and not classed as the uh, plastic fan. Yeah, I think that's the problem right now. It's a lot of people that have just gone to Man City because they were winning mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. I didn't know. I knew one Man City fan before their takeover. And he Jesus. lived in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only Man City fan I ever knew. Oh my God. And to be fair, I still do know. Fair enough. All right. So next club, Norwich City. Ooh, this, this is a personal one for you. Your football manager. Yes, it is Dave. personal. But let's be honest, I, 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 I hate them. Yeah. I, I Norwich. Hate they've them. never won the FA Cup. They've never. Won, I don't. I do believe they've never won first division. I'm. I'm don't quote me on it, but I <laughs> do believe they. I don't think they have. I so just think, for that reason, I mean, it's got to be small club or championship club. That, and this that, season alone, they are championship tier. True. I do like bottom. how the, I do like how Daniel Farker wants to play football, and I do think on that fact that Norwich should stick with him, and I think they will, and sort yeah, of they, do what Burnley did with Dyche, yeah, up down, up down, and now secured. Definitely needs <sighs> time to build a decent them? team. I mean, they are going into the championship unless they pull off a miracle. They're going down in my eyes. We could say that about the team coming up. Two teams coming up, actually. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> but where, where would you put them? It would it would be small club or championship club, for the reason you, that you the fan base one. isn't the biggest. They you can only choose one. Yeah, fan base isn't the biggest. Um, you know what? Because there are clubs that I would put in. There are other clubs I put in the championship tier in this yeah. list. I'm just looking at it. I would put them in small. Because I think there are worse teams on this list. True. I'll agree with it. I'll agree with that. Small club it is. And now, is one <laughs> of the uh, is one of the two copyrighted Claret and Blues, the fake Claret and Blues. The fake West Claret Ham. And Blue. West Ham United. I... The investments have always been poor. They in just players. don't know. Um, well, not always, but ninety percent of the time, the investment in players they do is poor. Um, I just like I haven't just... enjoyed watching them play since the like you know that that Pia era. Yeah, the Slavon Bilic managerial era, and last yeah. season really when Pellegrini was having a good season with them. I know, but I just and I get they're a bigger club. They're in London. They've got the nice stadium. I yeah. get they've got size to them, but I think they're championship tier. I don't like them. I think they belong down in the championship. <laughs> Especially, we are recording this the day after they just beat Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> and have thrown a wrench in Villa's works. Massively. Absolutely massively. So, I am maybe speaking out of hatred towards them. <laughs> but I despise that club. Yeah, I don't think and many people been... like West Ham outside of West Ham fans. Literally, yeah, that is the case. And I don't think a lot of West Ham fans like them either. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, people weren't running their club anyway. <laughs> Other than Wigan, I can't think of a team who I've watched fight the relegation battle more. I feel like, obviously not the last. Yeah, they've done well, sort of recently. Yeah. But over my lifespan, 
I remember all the relegations, all the relegation battles being West Ham, Wigan especially, and I think West Ham in there as well. Sunderland, Sunderland, West Brom, and then a couple of the teams that come up like Blackburn, Burnley. Yeah, I just feel like West Ham deserve to be in Championship tier. I about agree. You, you I'm agree? agree with it. I'm going to agree Ooh, with it. I like that. I'm going to agree oh, with it. This next one. As, I mean, as you said, Mike, we can have a bit of hatred as well from yesterday. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and salt. Maybe if this was maybe the day before, maybe there'd be a small club. <laughs> yeah. After last night. <laughs> now. Manchester. Here comes where we don't be a bit biased. Aston this Villa. Is just... Right, you're you on Aston Villa. Yep, mine's on Aston Villa. Oh, that says at the end for me. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Now this, this is a hard one. Because if I'm speaking as this, if, if I'm speaking on this as a non-Villa fan. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. be putting them in medium. True. Because the whole argument that Villa's a big club, whatever, yeah, we're laughing stock. But I think recently, I get we're a big club history and all that. Recently, it's been appalling. True. We Last season won... was really good. Yeah, we the haven't championship. won. We haven't won a, a, a sort of a top tier trophy. I mean, granted, the League Cup sort of a Mickey Mouse top tier trophy, but still, it's a trophy. We haven't won even that since '96. Twenty four years. Yeah, trophy. I mean, we've got to a few finals. Yeah, we've got to Wembley a few times. Yeah, but it's just the fact that we've got that. We've we've got that that many times and have only won the playoffs. Yeah, on our second attempt. <laughs> um, like. I just feel like recently it's it's shocking, and I think even like you know the years in the championship and the two years before we went down, it was genuinely just stupid. Yeah, we we're, we're sort of club in decline on the up, and then sort of hopefully not declining again. Yeah, I feel like I I'd still consider us a big club due to the fact we've won. I think it's seven first division titles, multiple FA Cups, multiple league. I think it's six, five or six league cups. We've also yeah. won the Champions League. That is true, the European Cup. And I'm looking at a few of the. And our fan base is quite huge, quite big. That's true. Got it is a stadium. reasonably worldwide name. I mean, look at this. We got Villa a lot of fans American in fans. Africa. We got a lot of Australian and American fans as well. Mm -hmm. Norwegians. Yeah, with quite oh. a worldwide name as well. That's the thing. You know what I'm looking. I think and there's, there's a few clubs. There's, there's multiple United, multiple Albions, multiple cities. That's true. But there's only one Villa. That is true. Yeah, go on, put them in big. I'm just looking at the rest of the list, and I feel like there's a few that aren't. Yeah, I think put them in big. There's a few ones in here that I'm debating between big and medium, but. Mm. There's a right. couple as well. So, have you got United next? I've got Everton. <laughs> Why is mine in a different order to yours? Okay, Not Everton. Clue. I their new stadium plans look incredible. Yeah, and I think that will help them a lot yeah. if they can start playing fun football. Well, they... I just think I don't think they're they're not big and they're not small. Is the easiest way to put it. True. I mean, they have have won a decent amount of trophies. Few, few. Uh, I think I've won. A, I think nine. First division titles, so a couple more than Villa, but overall trophies have not won more than us. But still, yeah, they are they are a pretty decent club. They're for, like for a staple being... of the Premier League as well. Yeah, I mean, we lost our ever present status four years ago. They're yeah. still an ever present. It is true, but I just don't think like they're not. I think the, the fact that they're right next to Liverpool doesn't help. No. The fact so that always they in the shadow of a club that's been always better than them. Well, not always, but 90% of the history has been better than them. And obviously, the six European Cups to Everton's none. Yeah, I don't think they can be put as a big club. Or maybe they could, because I kind of see them alongside Villa. I do like, agree. Whenever that... I think Prem, Everton are, you know... You always think and... Everton, United, Liverpool, Villa, <sighs> Arsenal, Chelsea. You think of those sort of teams and obviously and also... Tottenham. The amount of good, the amount of good Villa Everton games there's been. Yeah, it's always been some entertaining games throughout the years. Uh, I'd put them. Hmm, I'm gonna change my mind. I'd put them next to Villa. It's exactly I'd actually put my them as a big idea. club. Yeah. Exactly my place as well for them. <laughs> Definitely bigger than Man City because I I despise Man City. <laughs> right. Who's next? On United the list? now. Now it's United. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a hard one because they are probably the most or one of the most global teams 
Yeah. Recent like, decline uh, since Sir Alex Ferguson left, but that's completely understandable. Yeah, so, and I think it's, it still hasn't changed. You know, this, the, the amount of young kids that still go, like, who do you support? And it's Alex United. It's yep. all like, there's so many fans. And to be honest, I think they're, they are getting back up there. Yeah. I think if they can just sort out the Pogba situation, because they've got this huge, like, just mound of press on them. Yeah. The media just Pogba, Pogba, Pogba. If they can either sort the pub, like, his situation out by getting rid of him and replacing him, or he becomes on form and starts dominating. If they can sort the Pogba situation out, and I think they can easily compete for top four again. Well, they are at the minute, to be fair. Well, yeah. I mean, that Pogba Fernandez link up is what we've already seen it in the last game. It's true. Against, um, it was, was it they played last game? They smashed them. That's like 4 0, whatever it was. I think it was, yeah. But they saw that link up, and it, it, Pogba seems happy having players that are around him that are actually got a bit of quality. I mean, that's unlike... true. Because they did kind of just bring him in and just dump him. Mm hmm. He, he didn't have players of a similar. Brighton, they won 3 0 against Brighton. That's the one, yeah. They, they didn't have the uh, vision that Pogba had. Fernandez does. I mean, and then the quality to finish off the chances, obviously, Martial, Rashford. But they had Dan James starting over Greenwood. James is a uh, decent, decent young player. He's rapid, but I think he's more of an impact sub, yeah. in my opinion. Impact to run at a, a tired defence. Greenwood but... has a lot more quality and is a, a natural finisher, whether he plays up front or on the wing. And it helps with having quality players in the final third to feed. Yeah, but... I think next season, I think with a few changes... So I strongly believe that Wolves' season is not a fluke because they've got some really good stats and not conceding in the second half and yeah. whatever else. I still feel like Wolves won't be able to compete for top four next season, even if they do get it this season. True. I mean, we... That's if United, you know, a few changes to United, I think they'll be yeah. easy top four again. I don't think Leicester will do it again. Mm. Maybe. Um, but... We'll discuss Leicester when we get to them. That's true. Would you... Manchester United. the last few years... Of United, would you say the downfall of United has removed them from an elite club? No, I'd say they're still elite tier. Yeah, they, they are still elite tier, completely and utterly. A global name, massive, massive, uh, massive stadium, yeah. it's a massive nice stadium. stadium, it's huge fan base, huge just as a company as well. Yeah, you know, the, as a brand, about them. yeah, their brand is huge, elite tier. Yeah, and one thing, City will always be in the shadow of United, <laughs> always. Yeah. Even though, even the last few years, and City dominated, and they've won the league, and they're just never, they're, they're never going to be at the same level. No, no chance. All right, this next one. I mean, Sheffield United. You, you see, I like Sheffield United's way of playing. Yeah, and I me, like they've their had a good season as they've, well. They've been down to League One, clawed their way back up. But at the same time, it's and still only the, a Sheffield club. True. They're not that big. You know, they're not. Look at this, it's Sheffield. Like, yeah, they're fun to watch, I guess. Like, they're well, not fun to watch. Their style of play is better. They've had a good season, but I still wouldn't get excited to watch a Sheffield game. True. <laughs> I know I'm not a Sheffield fan. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a neutral, yeah. Monday night football, let's say it's Leicester Chelsea or, you know, United Arsenal. Yeah, you get excited over those games. I want to sit down, I want to watch those. If it's like. Even if it's like Liverpool and Sheffield or, you know, Leicester Sheffield, I'm just not excited. True. And I think this if they can have a, like another good season, then I think they'd be a medium club. If they can like become a Premier League staple. Yeah. They'd easily go up to medium for me. I mean they but definitely I've... have a bit more of a Premier League history as well than a few of the other teams and That's true. So yeah, they they've they've been in the Prem, they got relegated, had an exodus from it for a few got, well, got a good few years. I mean the League One thing just Yeah. Anyone to come back from that. I mean Wolves did it as well. Yeah, they did. And Thanks Leicester. Doing. And Le well, Leicester's the miracle. Yeah. So. I mean <laughs> yeah. Burnley. <sighs> I hate Burnley. And me. I think they're. A I think they are championship tier. I get that this season's been better for them. Yeah, but well, they had a and good season last that, season. Maybe that. Yeah, maybe that. But you know, the bit of consistency they've had makes them a small club. I feel like. 
I, f I just. So I'm, I'm looking at there's there's one there's one team on this list that is championship tier for me. Yeah. Definite. <coughs> so and I'd put them there. So I'd put I'd put Burnley small. I think Burnley's championship. I don't. I think I think they are a small club. Even with the consistency at the minute. Even with their consistency, I still think they are a championship club. What would it take them? What would it take for them to become a small club in your eyes? What would they have to do? Get in that small yeah, tier. Uh, the fan base isn't massive. The stadiums. It's a nice traditional football stadium, but it's. It's. It doesn't put an enthusiasm into going to the stadium. That's true. I mean, you look at you look, you look sell, sell, sort of similar to Selhurst Park. It's not bad, but it doesn't give you an enthusiasm to go. Even West Ham, you'd want to go to it. Um, it's teams that you want to go to that. I mean, it, it shouldn't make a difference that much, but they're, they're not. They've not really done much in their history. They've, I think they've had a couple of trophies. I can't pinpoint which ones exactly. But what about? But I do think they're a championship club. Even because with you'd take say, and if you're doing a a personal preference Premier League, Burnley would not be in it without a doubt. Like if you could have that's all, true. You, you'd have Leeds, not in a Forest. But what about their their loyalty to? Because isn't he like the first or the second longest ever manager at the minute? True. I mean that is. And a... they kept with him. I like that. Not something you see anymore. Hmm, yeah. Especially going down and up and down. True. I mean, maybe touch wood we see it with Villa if we go down or stay up. I'd like to. I I'd like to. Hate I'd like to. Uh, around him. Just going back to the thing, I'd, I'd, I'd like us to sack Suso. It's his. Yeah. He's the director of football. He deals yeah, with the transfers. Yeah. Dean Smith gives him a list of his first choices and he's gone and got. <laughs> uh, and, Benito, and Rafa Benitez's words when he worked with him at Valencia Benitez wanted a sofa, Suso got him a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dean Smith um, wanted I Ben Rama. He got Trezeguet. Dean Smith wanted Morpay. He got Wesley. Dean Wesley. Smith wanted Webster. Champ he, yeah. he got Engels. Good signing, by the way. I know. But back to Burnley. You're I going think Mings is actually now te technically our record signing because he played for England, and that then gave a fee into Bournemouth. Oh, fair enough. That gets one of the because it, it would be rising up to twenty-seven point five Mings with uh, add-ons. And one of the okay. others was playing for England, so I think Mings is now a record signing. Okay, but we gotta go back to Burnley. Yeah. Still putting them championship tier. Yeah. Okay. I'll go championship tier. I think that's the one we don't really agree on. Yeah, but, that's the first one. But you know, fair enough. Right, Chelsea. They Is it Chelsea for you? Chelsea weren't a bad club before their takeover. It won a couple of FA Cups, a couple of leagues, obviously not a Premier League. And then the then the Russian money come in from Abramovich and transform yeah. the club. Sixteen years, seventeen year period, Champions League. Yeah, this one's confusing for me. It's it's a weird one. They've won the Champions League, Europa League. They've won pretty much everything you could win in uh, club football. That's true. They. Uh... They just, they scream like premier to me. They're yeah. like a premier team. They, I mean, they've been just on and off, haven't they? But you're always scared to play them, even with the bad periods. Yeah, you never want to play Chelsea, ever. I mean, the stadium's quite nice. Um, for one of the Bunny Ears plastic clubs, the atmosphere in a stadium isn't that bad. Oh, oh. Don't get me started on this. I hate Chelsea fans. The oh, I don't like sucks. Chelsea fans. Yeah, I don't. I, like think Chelsea the, I think the atmosphere sucks. It's not well when I've been. They're it's not been that suck. bad. Their oh, fans at Wembley suck. True. Their, their home support isn't that bad though. To be fair to them, being in the away end, be, yeah. not being in the away end once and being in a home support. And I suppose it's unfair of me to judge other people's fan base when you've got Villa, who are loud and well, kind of non-stop. Chelsea are silent at times. Yeah, I mean, but... every fan base is silent and moany as well. That's the thing. I mean, yeah, especially I've, Villa I've, at the minute. I've witnessed it a few times at Villa. Moany. Toxicity. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. So. But Chelsea, Chelsea are automatically big or elite because of their Champions League, that's in my the opinion. Thing. Yeah. They're like automatically you, you can't be an elite team without Champions League, but. 
you can't be a big club either without the Champions League. I think they'd be elite. I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree. I already had them place there. Oh, I'm kind of... I'm debating They've on it. They've turned into an elite club. They're already a decent club before the takeover. And Yeah. I think if they can keep Lampard there as well for a few years, mm. and if he keeps bringing the young players through and trying them out, I mean... That, that's the, that's the thing that Chelsea... That's what everyone that outside of Chelsea's hated. Chelsea not bringing through some of the youngsters that they have. Yeah, and now and they this, look like they're going to... It, it, I think it they're going makes them like direction. Chelsea a bit more. They're going in I the right direction. I hope they get that fourth spot. Yeah. In fact, I'd actually like Leicester to drop out of it. And I'd like to see Chelsea and United back in the top four. That would be quite good. Because I obviously don't want the Wolves, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Right. Bournemouth's next for me. So this is the other team with the long-standing manager. Long-standing manager. Played some great football at times in the Premier League. Stadium's trash. <laughs> the stadium is ass. Too, too small for the Premier League, in my opinion. Don't yeah. know how they're allowed to be promoted, quite frankly. Oh man. Um, and but I, I kind of like him. No, I do kind of like him, but there's not really much of a history. Obviously, obviously the well, stadium is trash. I. They've sort of came up to me. Growing up when I was a kid, I never really heard much of Bournemouth. No, they're in League 2 on the brink of, brink of oblivion. Yeah, I feel like they just came up to the Prem out of nowhere. True. I mean, a bit, I, of, bit of money like, balling. Yeah, I guess they haven't been alive, you know, their whole lifespan. Yeah. Club's lifespan. But in my lifetime, they have came up to the Prem out of nothing. And I kind of like that. And I feel like they deserve to be a Prem team now. Sort of a... Even um... though I'm hoping they go down. Oh, uh, yeah. This season. I, I don't feel like they're championship tier. Especially if you look at the clubs that are currently in the championship tier. True. And, and I'd put one more in there as well. <clears throat> I mean, granted, they've been list. pretty trash this season, but in the other seasons they've played, they've, been, they've played some exciting football. Like, which... I can't put them... Like, if, if Brighton's in small tier, yeah. Bournemouth's in small tier for me. I think they have to be in the small tier. That, if there was another section, they'd be in the uh, middle of it. If there was another section, in yeah. my opinion. Because main thing is that stadium, it does my head in how yeah, small well, it is. If, if they stay in the Prem for a while. Yeah, they, yeah, I think they've already said that. They'd build a new stadium. But they then you just look at some of their moves in the transfer market. Solanke, 20 million. Ibe, tw 15 million. I think rising to 20, maybe. Some of their I mean. business. There's a club <laughs> that spends that money on those players deserve to have Premier League money to spend on those That's players. True. Yeah. Because, I mean, they are championship at best. <laughs> players, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't care that Slanky was at... 20 mil. Chelsea, and then Liverpool. He's not at those clubs for a reason. He's literally scored one goal in God knows how many games for Bournemouth. <laughs> yeah, it's questionable. But they've still managed to do... Okay. Reason, yeah. I'll stick yeah. with a small club. I'll agree with you yeah. on that one. I, I agree with the fact that if there's a, a tier in between, they'd be there. Yeah. But I think there's one clear team on the list left that goes in championship, so I see Bournemouth is better than those. So Bournemouth is small. All right. Right, next team. Arsenal. <sighs> you see, I can't, I'm going to get hate for this. Now, I said big club, you really big or elite club, you have to have a Champions League. Arsenal don't. But what but, the other clubs don't have is an invincible season. I think Arsenal... And a manager that pretty was the first to revolutionise English football when he arrived back in the uh, late 90s. True. They are incredible. I'm going to get hate for it. I really like Arsenal. If I didn't grow up where I grew up, if I grew up in London and I had to pick a team, I'd yeah. pick Arsenal. Mm -hmm. If I suddenly had to stop supporting the Villa and I'd support another Prem team, I'd probably go to Arsenal. Fair and enough. that sound, I'm going to get hate for it. But I just have a thing with them. I really like them. And I've liked a lot of their teams. Yeah. I it... used to love watching that. Um, Arshavin play. And Rositsky. Oh, yeah. And Van Persie. Oh, man. Even Some when the class players the came through. And Walcott. Yeah. I always love watching them play. Even though they're questionable as hell at the well, moment. And has been for years. I think both Ox and Walcott came from Southampton. Uh, that's what, yeah. I mean, but seeing them, at, you know, the, the, the way Arsenal played for so long. Yeah. Like, Under Van Yeah, I get they came through Southampton. Yeah. Something have brought incredible players through, but Arsenal kind of made them. Yeah, true. Venger um, Ball as well. Yeah, and played. I mean, he Football was. He played. The team How long he did built. he manage for? 
20, like... <laughs> 20 years. It's insane. If not, 20, if not longer. If not longer. And this, to me, is where if there could be a tier between elite and big, just a little tiny one, it would just be Arsenal alone, in it? Because I get yeah. what you're saying about the invincible season. But I still, until they win a Champions League, I think they're in their own little bubble. Yeah. And they can't but for this, completely elite. For this, I'd put them in elite. They're at the bottom end of elite tier for me. Yeah, on the... Yeah, sort of, uh, sort of like baggers in the mid-2000s. Too good for the Championship, but not good for the Premier League. Not good enough for the Premier League. Yeah. Okay, I'll start. You can go up there. Yeah, I'll, I'll right. agree with it. I'll put them in the elite. Main Who's reason being they do have a nice stadium. It's a modern, nice stadium. They're just a very, like, nice, like, well-established team. Yeah. They, they don't show any signs of, like, if, if they ever get to the point where they are struggling, they're going to go down. There's just going to be a bunch of money injected or true. they're going to bring people in. They've got so many legends and stuff they can bring in. and True, true. They're always going to get the help they need. So, yeah, they're, they're elite here. Right, Leicester. Leicester City. I've already I know, got an idea where to put them. I've, I'm going medium. Straight away. <laughs> you read my mind. Because Completely I like Leicester. Mind. The fact that they are currently sitting at third in the table. Yep. After the, you know, they won the league and then did nothing after that, and then yeah. now they're sort of back to, you know, challenging top four. Yeah. I really like them, and I want them to carry on being a good team because it would just, in my mind, it was, it's like a, a fairy tale being written. Yeah. And if if they can now get into this consistency of being top four, top five, staying in Europe. Yeah. Doing doing well in Europe as well, I'd like to see. It could help potential investments for other Midlands clubs as well. So, you know, another Midlands club do well. It won't just go for the big two in Manchester or London and... It's true. Liverpool. And I... bring investments for other clubs thinking, oh, okay, maybe if that club can do that from League One, win the Premier League, and then establish them as a top, say, seven team. Yeah. And they're not from London or one of the other big cities. They... Maybe. Yeah. I can see Leicester in that big tier as well. I can. I'd I'd honestly put Leicester up there with us and Everton, and that's after only a few good seasons. That's how like they were, excited they were, I am for them. They were a good Premier. League. They're on the rise. I still reckon. I mean, they've had a dodgy oh, start yeah. since the lockdown restart. Um, they definitely had a. They were a good team throughout the nineties, early two thousands. They were relegated at an exodus from the Premier League for a long time. Back. <laughs> Survival, a Premier League title from the miracle. absolutely nowhere. The absolute miracle. Yeah. 5,000 to 1. I mean, their fan base is not is reasonably big, but I do... Some of their fans are absolutely ridiculously <laughs> delusional. I mean, yeah. which does my head in. Cause but, they're, but they're getting there. Because they're they clearly great better. Great they're young clearly team. better than all the teams below them as well. You know. But can we put Leicester above City still? <laughs> Even though City have only oh, been going no. a bit. Can we put them no. above City? No, I, w- I wouldn't put them above Southampton either. I th- honestly. I think medium's a perfect one for them. Yeah. All right, this one. You know where this next one's going. I've been saying it the whole, all recording. Yeah, this is going Championship. Yeah, I... This team bores the hell out of me. It does. Mm-hmm. And there's a, I have one memory that I actually enjoyed, and that was that playoffs match. Oh, yeah, against Leicester, ironically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, incredible. But apart from that, they are boring. I don't I'm like on them. I'm your saves. I'm on your saves again. I want them to Forest go down. Forestieri, his hog, Dini. Dini. Yeah. I See, just... even though Dini is a blue, I do like Dini. Just off. and he always scores against the Villa. Yes, oh, I do like Dini. I have a, I have a respect for him. Uh, he's a thug. I don't like him. He... <laughs> he's he's actually meeting him in person. He's actually. Oh nice yeah. You but think he's actually Villa, a nice bloke. He's a thug. <laughs> he's a he's a. He ruins on, what dreams. happens on the pitch, he leaves on the pitch. Yeah, that's that's. And good he's nice to any sort of fans. It's good practice. Yeah, it's it's what should happen. Right, this is an interesting one. But, yeah, I'll Next. have to agree with Championship Club for Watford. Yeah, they're in Championship tier. Right, Newcastle. These, these next three are going to be questionable. Yeah, this is going to be hard. <sighs> Newcastle once again. If 
I put them up there with Everton and Villa straight mm-hmm. away. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, I think it's that thing as growing up as a kid, the Villa Newcastle games were good. I was looking forward yeah. to them. They were and they've got, the got a big fan base. Cause... Yeah, and they've got a massive stadium. That's um, true. They were pushing for Premier League titles back in the 90s. Same with Villa. In yeah. the second one year, they were like 10 I mean, points clear and they messed it up Newcastle as well. We were competing with Newcastle and Everton for fifth place a lot as well. Yeah. Going back. So, honestly, I feel like they fit in perfectly in big. And if, if whatever this takeover news is... It's just going to skyrocket. If, it, if, if this happens, it's going to just... They've got the foundations. Although, if they put money into that club, like... It's just going to pay off massively, I feel. Newcastle are going in big for me. I think they're another club like sort of City in the in between. Yeah. I mean, City, yes, they've won more Premier League titles. They've got more. I think they, I do believe they've got more trophies overall. City just need more years. They, they need more years to not be considered plastic. That's the issue. Yeah, that is. <laughs> it's true. That, that's the thing. That, that, that Yes, same with Chelsea, that oil money. But Chelsea had a little bit more history than City did. Let's be honest. A little bit, yeah. Um, but for Manchester City, the thing that would definitely take them to the next level is winning the Champions League. I mean, you've said about Champions League for big clubs as well. Newcastle is a huge follower, huge fan base, huge club. And it's a one, yeah. It's a one City club as well. Well, I mean, Sunderland's not too far away. But it's another city, and Sunderland's another city. It is, yeah, yeah. But Newcastle it's... is a one-city club. You've also got Liverpool, which is a two-city club. You, uh, Manchester, two-city club. Birmingham, two-city club. Uh, two-city, you know what I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, London, multiple clubs in the city. Oh, Leicester's yeah, that's... obviously on their own. Southampton. Yeah. I, I just feel like I can't put Everton and Villa there about Newcastle. They're the three teams yeah. I think of. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, these next two, honestly, I am. Th- these are these are going to be hard to do. Oh, Spears, like. <sighs> Spears. Oh, f- oh, I don't know. I want to say. Oh. I don't know. This, this again. If there was a middle tier, an in between tier. Because. Medium is questionable for Spurs. City have won 26 trophies, by the way. Jesus. Just went a quick search, but yeah, obviously still being a yes. And most of those trophies are since the takeover. Fair enough. But Spurs. I I feel bad saying medium. Mm-hmm. And I feel questionable saying big. Yeah, another one that's in the in-between. <sighs> I have that similar feeling about them. They've got a new stadium. <clears throat> I mean, they're yeah, always sort a of a mid-table club in the Premier League before, for the last five to six years under Pochettino. And yeah, a I like that Pochettino. They Boas never should have Redknapp. gotten rid of Pochettino. I don't think they should have either. I know he's having a bad spell, but the, he turned that club into a big team. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were fi- they started finishing in the top four. They were competing. A f- yeah, a few about about eight years ago they started competing for it the top four places but apart from that they weren't really doing much in the Premier League before that they were just mid-table sort of irrelevancy yeah I think I mean they've won one trophy back in 2010 the Carling Cup rest in peace Carling same <laughs> rest in is peace. now Carabao yeah same same amount of trophies as Villa okay but I think I think medium club is the sort of thing but they're on the brink of a big <sighs> club I'd, I'd honestly put them big. Think? I think the new stadium helps me out a lot. True. I, just... I mean, that's one regret I have is not actually going to the original White Hot Lane. Uh... I have that regret. You know what? Just to make this. I think. Because, like I said, if there was the in between tier. Yeah. They'd be there. Yeah, let's go with big, yeah. I think we got, yeah, the bottom side of big. Yeah. <laughs> bottom big team. Sort of. And this Newcastle. Rounds it out perfectly. Yeah. Course, I know where I'm putting them. This is going to be a nice even thing for me. Yeah. Same right here. in medium. An even tier list because, once again, I mean, I guess being a Villa fan, I've heard more of them growing up because local and 
yeah. you know, rivals, whatever, and friendships, because we're in the Midlands, a lot of our friends growing up are Wolves fans. Yeah. They, I hate them. Uh, <laughs> I hate their fans. I hate their way of play. I hate the fact that they had a Portuguese manager and agent come in, sign Portuguese players and dominate. I hate all of it. Uh, but I have a complete opposite view. I, I think I think they play good football. Um, it's tactically set up brilliantly. Nuno's improved players that oh, want yeah. to improve as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, right. He is one of the best managers in the league. Oh, yeah. The way they play is interesting. It's good. I think it showed the other night against Villa without Traore. They can't really do anything. I felt like they were in a similar situation to the Villa. <laughs> they, they can't get any chances without Traore. Thing is, Wolves are always better in the second half. Yeah, it's true. They, they, uh, they seem to have defense. not... Be their brilliant defense in the first half. I think their defense at this season is incredible. Yeah, it's insane. I definitely think so, a couple of additions are needed. To be fair, though, for a bit of squad depth. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Well, we'll see what they do. If they manage to get that fourth spot, I think you can see them putting quite a bit of money in and buying some Champions League sort of experienced players, maybe. Potentially. Because I, I can't see them doing well in the Champions League without changes. But I can see them getting that fourth spot against certain United. clubs. Yeah, I'd agree. I can definitely see them getting the fourth spot over United. They're, they're definitely in the fight for it. It wouldn't surprise me as well. But yeah, I, they, they deserve medium. They're not as big as the Villa. No, nope, they're not. They're not better not. than us. But they're not bigger than the Villa. No, it makes me happy because we are the highest-rated Midlands team on our list. We are. I'm, this is what I've said for a few years. We're the biggest club, but we're not the best team. The best oh, we two are, Midlands teams we are awesome trash. Mister. We are we're awful. We're still better than the Baggies, thank the Lord. I hate the Baggies, probably <laughs> yeah. more than the Wolves. Um, I, also, the Blues suck. Just so. Um, but yeah, that's quite. We actually rounded that out quite nicely. I know. Which, yeah, quite I'm surprised looking, at that. I, I feel like if there was you know two more tiers in there, we could make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, a bit more precise. Yeah, I agree. So there's a few that are like you know we wanted to put an in between tier. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm just going through it now. Championship tier, I agree with all four of those. Well, Burnley maybe not, but Brighton. Brighton, I still think are on the brink of Championship club. Yeah, they're in between Norwich, small. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I think Bournemouth, Bournemouth are kind definitely of in between. on the brink of Championship club as well. Yeah. Man City on medium. the brink of big club. Yeah, Man City just they need, they just need that new generation of fans to come in and. Have that generational fans because yeah, that that plastic it, that the you know the plastic thing is going to hold them yeah. hold against them for a while. It is. Spurs questionable, but the rest in the big tier, yeah, and the elite tier is the OG top four. Yep, the original. Which I think you know a lot of especially kids now the top four isn't that anymore. No, it hasn't. It hasn't been for, been a, been for a while. Yeah, yeah. but no, it's the OG top four. No one else is up we there. We were in our teens. I think until City wins, or sorry, until City wins the Champions League. Yeah. Which I don't think they're going to do if Liverpool are going to be playing as well as they are this <laughs> season. So. Well, they're still in the Champions League, actually. They can still win it this season. Liverpool are out of it. That's true, actually. I don't think they will, though. But, I think um, it'll be them, Bayern or Barca, maybe. Yeah, I'd like to see Barca do it again. Would be nice. Right. So, I guess we wrap this up. Yeah, that's going to be it. Right, yeah. yeah. If you, if you agreed or disagreed with the, uh, oh, I can't wait. Our tier know, list. Get... Please comment. Comment. I want to hear your thoughts. Can't wait to uh... see a good friend of ours who's a Wolves fan comment. <laughs> can't can't wait. wait for it. Uh, if you, but if you did enjoy it, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Tell comment us what as well. Yeah, comment. Let's know what you want to see. See, what let's know tier what list? tier list you want to see next. That's it, yeah. on stream. Because, oh, mate, on stream will be good. Have the chat's opinion. Yeah. Just disagreeing with me all the time. <laughs> all the yeah. Liverpool fans in your chat. Because I hate Liverpool. <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got Liverpool and Chelsea fans in my chat. Actually. I know, I saw it last night. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Cheers right. for watching. Make yeah. sure you subscribe to the boy. Let's go. Yeah, subscribe to uh, uh, Priest as well. He, his link yeah. is in the description. Harry Peakers. At Harry Peakers. Let's get it. All right. Cheers for chilling, guys. Pose. See you in a bit.